two old guys of the records, one old guy for now, as Sydney's lockdown restrictions are almost over with Freedom Day almost here. Mike and I decided longer to press on with some fun segments about our passion and our love for our favourite records. And welcome to Friday Faves as we delve deep into our record collections to discover or rediscover gems. And today's episode is the gem of gems because all I have to say is listen to the riff. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking about one of the greatest bands in the world playing one of the greatest rock songs ever written. That is... Led Zeppelin and Whole Lot of Love. This is a single where every record collector that is a rock fan has to have. You have to have whole lot of love. Now, I'm not going to spend episodes on Led Zeppelin's history, but let's have a look at some context, just a bit of context. 1969 was a very, very busy year for Led Zeppelin. Yes, two albums, Led Zeppelin 1 and Led Zeppelin 2. You've got a zillion tours. They're going backwards and forwards the Atlantic Ocean with tours of the USA and tours of Europe. Led Zeppelin 2 was actually uh, written and recorded on the road, which is an amazing feat because they were just zigzagging across uh, the United States and Europe and recording this as they went. But when you look at Led Zeppelin 2, what an amazing album. Very heavy, lots, you know, they're moving away from that blues, slow, gradually moving away from those with that heavy sort of rock riff. So, you know, they're finding their way as a band. And the cherry on top of all that icing is whole lot of love that opens the album that it was released as a single in the usa and australia and other parts of the world but not the uk now well, that's interesting and it topped the charts here in australia and i'm glad i've got the single because there are there's a version of this single where it's been cut as you know to fit into the single this is the five minute 33 second version of it with all its glory okay so yes it is one of those great singles uh, like i said what don't you love about it? the opening riff that five note riff by jimmy page you know john paul jones comes in with a bass and then you've got the vocals coming you need cool and baby i'm not fooling by you know robert plant and then when we get to the chorus, a whole lot of love, the drums of John Bonham kick in. What a song. You know, what I love about this song also is just the intense sexuality of the song. You know, it's as if, you know, there's this oral intercourse, you know, where you've got that break in the middle, you've got all the percussion by John Bonham, you know, maybe that's foreplay, okay, then you've got, for example, uh, Jimmy Page playing, you know, the guitar like a violin, maybe, you know, we're building up to something, you know, you've got the moans from Robert Plant, and then you've got the climactic love, and then, for example, you've got John Bonham's drums, the solo kicks in, and that is sexual epiphany, yes, what a journey they've taken us. Now, lyrically, have a look, you know, at the beginning, yes, the persona sort of saying, you need cooling, baby, I'm not fooling, I'm going to send you back to school. And so, in other words, the persona, male persona, is really, really confident here. But this confidence quickly disappears when it says, you've been learning, baby, I mean learning, all in good times, I am yearning. So he is suffering at this point. And then when we get to the point where he says, you've been fooling, baby, I've been drooling, well, hey, maybe she's playing around and now he's even more suffering. So, yes, you've got that whole journey of, you know, the reversal of roles there in the song. Can I just say, this is also a controversial song because the lyrics come from um, Willie Dixon's song, Muddy Waters, called You Need Love. So there was a lot of lyrics there that were taken. In 1985, there was a settlement out of court between Led Zeppelin and, you know, the, the other parties, and they acknowledged it. And Willie Dixon now gets a credit on 
the song. So yeah, there you are. And Robert Plant was quite uh, happy to settle. Now he did say the riff, the riff is definitely Jimmy Page's riff. But you know, he was saying, I need you know, words over this. And he was inspired by You Need Love. He used it. And in one interview, he sort of says, if we weren't famous, we wouldn't have been caught. Okay, that's what happens when you become so, so famous. So, yes, whole lot of love. Now, it's been regarded as one of the best riffs ever done in rock. The single is very, very important, you know, in, you know, lists. You know, did you like Led Zeppelin? Oh, what a question. And <laughs> did you like the song Whole Lot of Love? Now, a little bit of trivia. Now, I bought, you know, just to show you how crazy I am as a record collector, I bought the Whole Lot of Love sleeve to an EP, hollow sleeve, without a record, because I'm in search for an abandoned, you know, EP where I can reconcile this cover with that abandoned record. And the quest goes on. That's right. I will see you next Friday with another favourite faves. And don't forget, send in a request. Send in a request. See you next Friday.